So the way I actually teach it is I have all of the students shut their eyes. I have them shut their eyes and point at me. And then I walk around the room and I tell them to point at me wherever I'm at in the room. It seems pretty simple, right? Uh, you can locate things by sound. So if you hear a sound coming from the right, that sound hits your right ear just a, you know, a microsecond or actually half a millisecond before it hits your left ear. Uh, so that tells your brain that thing's coming from over there. Then what I do is say, okay, now we're gonna have some fun. And I get two loudspeakers and I stand in the middle and I talk and I start adjusting the delay of one of the loudspeakers and it actually sounds like I'm moving left or right. That psychoacoustic effect of moving just because one loudspeaker is delayed, that's what's really happening with the Haas effect. So I start moving the delay and I'm standing in the middle, check one, two, check one, two, start moving the delay and students are pointing and pointing and they get to a point where they're pointing like three o'clock and I say, okay, everybody open your eyes and they're like, Whoa. We listen to stuff in a spatial and time-based environment. And literally the amount of time, the difference between hitting this ear and that ear uh, throws our perception of where the sound is coming from totally in different directions. In live events, uh, if we have a venue that's really long, imagine a bowling alley and the band is way, you know, they're a hundred yards away, 200 yards away, big concerts in the parks and things like that. If I was to try and, and make the sound loud enough so the people in the cheap seats can hear, uh, it would be too loud for the front row. So what I would do is put my loudspeakers on either side of the stage and then go a certain distance back and put another set of loudspeakers. If those loudspeakers and the loudspeakers on the front of the stage played at the exact same time, it would sound like the sounds coming from the loudspeaker and then an echo from the front of the stage. So that directs your attention to that loudspeaker. So what I would do is take some measurements. Now I have a probe on a multimeter that I stick in. The probe gives me the exact temperature. So I can put the exact temperature in and get that uh, the speed of sound. So then I can adjust my delay for the second set of loudspeakers. And so when the time it takes for the sound from the first set to come and join the second set, that's when the second set starts for, to produce that sound. And you want to go maybe a couple milliseconds more. So it's actually just a tad bit behind it. So the stage, you're getting the stage first but you're getting the, the increased volume of that second set of loudspeakers. Okay, there it is, that's my sweet spot, it sounds really good. You can actually bring your system down just a tad bit and uh, it sounds beautiful. And then the front row is not getting blown away and the back row has nice full sound. Their, uh, the directionality is perceived as everything's coming from the stage. Subscribe and follow us on social media. And if you know of an amazing AV experience we should feature, email us at video at <laughs> To the power of one.